Beautiful people, welcome. Welcome to Bedtime Story. I'm Simon. I'm your host. I'm inviting you to join me for a beautiful practice, for a journey into softness, and for a return to what is your peaceful nature, your quality of surrender. I'm very comfortable myself, <laughs> doing my best to be as comfortable as I can, and I invite you to do the same. So, firstly, get into something comfortable, and that is really important for this work, is not to wear tight-fitting synthetic fabrics, but something loose-fitting and preferably natural fibers, cotton, if possible. Apart from that, I have a beautiful blanket that I've laid down here to give softness, right? It's a little island of softness in the middle of my yoga mat, folded into a little square. It's just there for my knees. If you've got something like that, I'm gonna invite you in a moment to get set up. And then I have my beautiful friend here, my bolster. Uh, if you don't have a bolster, maybe you have a cushion of sort on your sofa or on your bed maybe two cushions to give a little bit of firmness. See what you can do to create your island of comfort and softness as we prepare to flow into this work, which I am so delighted to be sharing with you today. This work that I've been preparing for so many years and that I am now finally offering in a structured way, as well as through a program, which is a teacher training and I know that there's many people interested to have a taste of this work, so that's why I'm offering this practice. Shortly, to say something before we dive in, I just want to say that my focus today is on what is actually the third level or the softest level of practice that belongs to the Shanti Flow Yoga method, if you like to call it a method. The practice itself has these three levels where we descend from the grounding practices into the softening practices and then into what I call the sweetening practices. And that's where we are today for bedtime story. I'm here to invite you to really melt into your softness and surrender to your sweetness. Return to your peaceful nature in a very specific way, and that is in a state of flow. I think that's really so important about this work, why I'm so in love with this work, and why I find it so important, is that the lunar flow-based practices are an invitation to experience peace as flow. And sometimes that, you know, that really requires us to kind of reprogram our definition of what peace is. And I know for certain many people have an association with the idea of peace as being stillness and sometimes as passivity, doing nothing. Peace equals doing nothing. So inviting you into an experience that is fluid, that is graceful, and that is the flow of peace, or perhaps, as my teacher would say, we invite ourselves to embody and to move as peace, to move as love.
I'm so delighted to be offering this deepest level of softness through this teacher training that I call fluid yin or yin flow and movement meditation since essentially that's really what this is, is an invitation to experience your peaceful nature or your yin quality in a state of flow and happy for you to get a taste of this work during this practice there there's a lot there it's a very rich body of work so it'll be just a taste but I hope that you're gonna have a wonderful journey into bedtime storyland so the cushion that you found whatever you managed to locate in your home I want you to come and sit on it now if you're using a yoga mat, I mean, you might just be on the lounge carpet and that is fine. But if you're using a, a yoga mat, I think best to face it towards me. I am on this luxurious yoga mat, which is in the shape of an island. So <laughs> it's huge. But, you know, if you're on a regular yoga mat, face it towards me. And then get your bolster or your pillows in between your knees facing me. I'm going to turn sideways so that you can see very clearly and I can demonstrate more clearly for you. Comfortably enough and with enough support under your hips so that you feel supported and that you don't have pain in your knees. That's very, very important, okay? Now, just settling into the sitting position and I am closing my eyes to start with and I'm just bowing my head to my heart while hopefully you're finding it easy to sit up straight. That is why I'm sitting like this because it is easier to sit up straight than when you sit with crossed legs on the floor. So hopefully you're feeling liberated and spacious in your sacrum and in your lower back and that you can sit up with lightness. And then let's immediately just invite that softness of the head bowing to the hearts. Just be connected to your breath. And let your breath draw you into your body. Just invite a balancing of the inflowing and the outflowing breath. We would like them to take an equal amount of time. And gently open your eyes a little so that you can see me. I'm inviting you into a rocking motion. If you like to just raise your hands so that they're in front of you, then uh, experience this movement of the thumbs tilting forward. That's important, the thumbs tilting forward. Now, the idea is that you're holding the hips. And they are your own hips. So this movement of the thumbs tilting forward here. I'm gonna do it while holding my hips and feel how as I tilt my thumbs forward, my pelvis tilts forward. Now, I essentially tilt my hands the other way and my Pelvis just rocks back. Okay, let's just isolate this movement. Not forcefully, you know. We don't do anything forceful during this work. We really want to just feel that we surrender to the flow of breath and movement that arises spontaneously and just give space to that fluid nature. So I'm going to bring the hands back to the legs and invite you to explore. Now I'm starting to go in a more circular direction. I'm incorporating a circular movement of my navel and that circle is in front of me like this. Yeah, that circle is in front of me like this. So it's not, it's not this circle. Uh, 
it's this one. So feel how I'm liberating my tailbone, my sacrum, and at the same time churning the butter. She is this spiraling movement just to ease into softening through the joints, the vertebra, inviting a sense of ease. And I'm going to move my hands towards my feet. I'm going to press down here on the outside of the foot, close to the little toe. If you can reach that, I'm sure you can. And then open the heart. You don't need to throw the head back too much. Just feel the shoulders opening, heart opening. Take a nice deep breath in. And return on to the hands and knees and just gently moving over the hands and knees and softly flowing into this place of easy movement, of fluid movement, of checking in, connecting to the weight of your body dropping dropping, softening, so also the elbows soft, no tightening, no locking, and the neck, let it gently flow, let the head flow freely as you circle your weight from knee to knee to hand to hand, so passing the weight over the four contact points with the earth and softening into the elbows while you do this until we're ready to return again gently to the sitting position that we were in i actually just wanted to sort of give the knees a break because it can become very easily too much sitting with the knees bent like this Take a moment to watch me as I demonstrate how I repeat the exercise we already did, which is that rocking motion in the hips. But now watch what happens. As I tilt forward, that's that sort of thumbs moving forward motion, and my hips tilt forward. I really want to feel how that opens my belly, offers my heart forward. I release my throat, offer my face forward. And then as the tailbone starts to move down, the tilting of the pelvis in the other direction, it draws me back, softening the heart, softening the face as I bow into the self. So I want to be doing this very softly, but experiencing how the tilting of the pelvis overflows into the spine, into the neck, the face, the head. You don't have to follow my rhythm specifically, but see if you can enjoy the movement. You may want to put a little bit of weight on your hands. This time I'm going to put more weight on my hands as I flow forward, tilting, offering the heart forward. And as my tail tilts under and I flow back, this is my exhale. I'm now synchronizing breath and movement. You can, if you can, you're welcome to so. Tilting forward and offering the heart forward is an in-breath. And then as I flow into myself, rolling through the spine, rounding, this is an out-breath. Okay, if you do not want to or do not manage to synchronize breath and movement that doesn't matter just keep breathing and just invite yourself softly into this state of flow melting all tension in the spine in the neck flowing on the wave of the breath the wave of the movement So my movement is now starting to become more generous. 
and I'm not forcing that, but I'm feeling my body is ready to go there. So here, as I offer forward, it's getting a little bit more generous, a little bit more delicious. And I'm open to that. I'm not going to block it. I'm not going to refuse it. I'm giving space for that. I'm feeling how it is melting all anxiety tension, resistance is just dissolving through this fluid movement meditation. That's really at the heart of this work is the idea that meditation can be a state of flow. to start the exhale from the throat so the next time the heart offering forward is the in-breath through the nose here comes the exhale from the throat with a bit of an and here's my in transferring my hands back once again pressing down the outside of the feet to try to get the little toe side of the feet closer to the earth opening the heart rolling the shoulders back no need to throw the head back too much it's got to feel good take a deep breath in Turn my hands onto my thighs, very close to my hips, my shoulders back, my heart open. I'm just bowing my head to my heart. I'm just connecting, feeling, experiencing, and still aware of the flow in the sense that at the moment it's not through movement, but the flow of breath the flow of energy and sensation, balancing the inflowing and the outflowing breath. Lovely, lovely. As you slip your cushion forward, you might want to use one hand, so you've got support with one hand, use the other hand to take the cushion forward. I will now turn to face you. You can just have your cushion to the left of you. And let's massage the knees a little bit. We've just been sitting with the folded knees, so it's nice to massage the knees to just give them a little bit of a massage, okay? Nice. Just circular motion over the knees. I will in fact turn again to show you. You stay as you are. Let me just show you this circular motion over the knees. And enjoy. Breathe into it and just be easy with yourself. Be easy with yourself. And then move back onto the hands. You won't have a cushion behind you like I do, so you'll be okay. Hands facing back, very, very comfortable. So I'm not trying to sit straight. I'm very comfortable. It's been a hard day's work. This is bedtime story. Yeah, take it easy on yourself there. And um, I'm circling my ankles. So, you know, there's so many practices involved in this work. A lot of joint rolling work, also very beautiful somatic and fascia related work so let's just roll through those ankles and give the ankles some love since we stand on them a lot so give them some love and 
then finally, let's see if you can make the legs a little bit longer, like you're reaching your legs away out of your hips. Fingers facing back, shoulders rolling back, heart rising, okay, this opening of the heart. And then it softens back down again. And the neck flows freely. So here is heart rise, head flows open a little. And as the heart drops, there's a feeling of bowing into the self. Let's do it together on the breath. This is breathing in. This is breathing out. Next time, breathe out of the mouth. If you didn't do it, in through the nose. Good. As I move forward, bring the fingers onto the fingertips. I'm sure you can see clearly my fingertips. The thumb is forward, the fingers are back. I'm using these fingertips to press into the floor to help me to offer the heart forward so that I'm not uh, moving forward with that round back, but I'm rooting into the floor to extend through the lower back, through the sacrum, through the hamstrings, and then gently I come back to vertical. Okay, it's a little rocking movement. This is breathing in. As I return, this is breathing out. And again, breathing in. In, breathe out. One more time, breathe in. And breathing out. Beautiful. Your bolster is already next to you on the side, on your left side. All right, so let me mirror you. I'll get my bolster on the right side. I want you to take your legs away from the bolster. So my, your bolster, if it's on your left side, your legs moving away from the bolster. It is very comfortable sitting on one hip and the legs are folded gently. Now, the bolster should not be too close. I'm gonna roll mine, take it one roll away. Or, you know, that's a little bit much. Maybe that's enough, okay. How's that for feeling comfortable? Not too close, not too far. Um, preferably my hand is more or less in line with my hip. So if that's my hip, the hand is not forward, it's not back, it's in line with the hip. And this top leg now is swinging back, the tail wrapping around you a little, okay? The knee's bent, it's soft, but it's wrapping around behind me. And you feel how that opens and you get that beautiful stretch feeling through the groin here, okay? Now let's get that hand onto that hip, and let's press that hip down. So it's kind of back and down. And now I'm sending that hip forward, and again there's that overflow through my heart, belly, heart, throat, face. And as I send that hip back and down, there's that softening again into myself. Let's see if we can find that moving the hip forward overflowing opening, and moving the hip back, and softening into the self. And as we add the breath, this would be breathing in. This would be breathing out. Enjoy now, breathe in. Into the movement meditation we go, surrendering to the flow, diving deeper into the self, into the harmony, the balance, the grace, the fluidity, the surrender to the flow. Connecting, harmonizing body, mind, breath, fluid movement and invite the movement to become more juicy, more delicious. Mm. When you're ready, move 
move on to that elbow on that bolster or bed cushion and check in. Is it possible to wrap that top leg around a little bit more? Get a little bit more reach through the groin, through the psoas. This is the moment where I catch my head with my hand and grab the back of my head with a nice wide spread hand. And then also the top leg beautifully wrapped behind. Press the elbow into the floor, open the heart. That elbow is opening. And now keep holding the head. The elbow softens a little bit towards the cushion. As we do this on the breath, you're welcome to close your eyes. That's lovely. The opening is breathing in. And this is breathing out. And again, this is breathing in. And breathing out. Let's repeat, enjoy the breathing in. And last one breathes in. In breathe. Gently, hands helping you up to send your legs forward again. I will do it facing sideways and take a moment to gently sit straight using those fingertips to support you. Now see if it's possible tilting the pelvis again. You're welcome to use the fingertips to help you to tilt the pelvis off of the heart forward. Flow down the legs. I'm flowing down pretty much the outside of the legs. And then I'm flowing up the inside of the legs. Not too much on the inside, but just a little bit more on the inside, close to the groin. Flow over the pelvis, over the groin, and flow down the outside. Now you see how flexible you are and how far you take this movement. So it is, it relates to that culture which belongs to yoga and Ayurveda, which is self-massage and touching with intent, with intention really consciously feeling you're giving your legs some loving kindness once again because they carry you <laughs> so it's like offering gratitude now the downward flow towards the ankles this is a breathing out and then this flowing up is a breathing in i'm going to increase the size of the movement as i do it you see how that looks and if you want to join and um I'm synchronizing breath. My downward flow is an exhale. And rolling up is an inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Welcome to find your own rhythm. I'm just trying to demonstrate clearly, but you find your own rhythm so that you don't have to feel that you must copy my rhythm and you can truly let yourself flow beautifully into it. If you would like to make use of the exhale from the throat, from the mouth, every now and again you should give yourself freedom to do that. I'll demonstrate. Enjoy one more round until you're happy. Coming rolling up, but leave your hands on your knees and just take a moment to sit with your hands on your knees. Yeah, where one of the teachings is that the knees relate to the ego. So like I like I say, massaging the knees, massaging the ego or caressing the ego, telling the ego it's all gonna be fine. You can relax, right? So 
my head softens to my heart. The offering of the sound of Om, such a beautiful practice. If you'd like to join, if you wouldn't like to join, enjoy another aspect of the practice, which is listening, receiving. I'm taking a deep breath in. Now I'm simply sitting, I'm simply receiving, balancing, returning to that still point, that receptivity where even flow-based practice doesn't need to mean that we are allergic to stillness, doesn't need to mean that we cannot be still. Just as music requires silence, just as a painting requires a blank canvas upon which to be painted, so too the movement is felt in the silence, which is its own container, its canvas, and its own echo. Notice how the sound of Om and the fluid movement practice gives extra value to the stillness when you do return to this place listening, of feeling, of dropping in, receiving. And as we open our eyes, we can change the bolster to the other side. I think that's a really good idea. So once again, I'm going to sit on one hip, move that bolster out a little, yeah. You should be on your right hip now, your knees facing away from the bolster, comfortable, yeah, all right. And we would like to try a little bit of that wrap, the top leg wraps around to the back, just to feel a bit of that stretch through hand on the hip, and then that softening, which is kind of a pressing down, and I actually use my hand to send that hip down, okay. Now you can use the hand, you can collect the back of the hip to send it forward. You find that mobility in the pelvis, and then let's experience how that mobility can overflow into the spine and the neck, so that there is kind of a filtering of the softening uh, Give it another go, give it another round of practice. A little bit more information this time, inviting you to soften your mouth, your jaw. And a very good practice that belongs to this work is to soften the lips, not always to sort of purse, not always to purse the lips, but to let them, <laughs> let them soften a little, all right. Is that overflow of the spine, see a rounding in and sending that hip forward and offering the heart and the face forward, really inviting yourself into what is essentially also your sensual nature, sensual, a word that also refers to the senses, we're feeling everything, right? We're not disconnecting we are doing the opposite of disconnecting, we're immersing, we're swimming in it. I'm going to invite you to flow with the breath, find your rhythm, smile into your own bliss as you soften into your grace, as you flow through the movements, as you flow on the wave of the breath, as you circulate your loving kindness to your body, through your spine. Mm -hmm. 
letting go, letting flow. I do sometimes make use of the exhale from the throat. I invite you to practice what is a natural reaction of the body to stress. Is the sigh, the zicht, yeah? One more together, that opening, and overflow into yourself. And as we come out of it, moving on to the elbow, comfortable distance away, not too close. You need some space, but not too far either. And this hand, which now is this elbow, is pretty much in line with this hip, so not forward and not back in line with the hip. The top leg, bring it forward for a moment. Bring it forward, release it for a moment. And then send it back, wrap it around you. And feel that lovely stretch through. Arm crosses the sky to find the back of the head. Nice wide hand catches the back of the head. And here we go. This is rooting the elbow to open the chest, elbow opening behind you. And this is elbow softening down. And I do this on the flow of breath. Close the eyes, release the mouth. Inhale. And softening into it, exhale. Find your flow, find your rhythm. If you don't like my speed, enjoy your own. Let go. Let flow, massaging your fascia. Breathing with all your body, whole body movement, fluid, graceful meditation in movement. When you're ready, gently swing the legs forward, coming out of it and taking a moment. I like it that that bolster is quite far away, so it's not in your way, because we are going to spend a little moment here moving from one hand to the other. So mirror me if you like. So if I'm going to the left, you can go to the right. If I'm going to the right, you can go to the left so that we are moving opposite each other like you're looking into a mirror. Now notice what's happening. Feet are apart, okay? As the hip lifts and I flow onto that hand, the feet are welcome to roll in that direction as well, okay? It's about ease, it's about ease. Nothing is forced, gravity is doing most of the work. You're going to feel a very nice stretch through the hips, even through the sacrum, even into the hamstrings. There is value here. Be sure to offer the heart through. Offer the heart through. All right, let's go the same way. So I'm going this way, so follow me. In a, as my mirror, the opposite arm reaches up. And let's just tilt the hips a bit and project the heart forward. <laughs> Breathe in. And come down. Let's do it again. Breathe in. And down. 
Okay, a little moment before we do the other side, I want to say something about this work. You know, the inspiration for this work is Sahaj, to a certain degree, that's the sort of natural feeling we have for stretching. Something like what we do when we wake up in the morning, and we look for that feeling in our bodies when we wake up in the morning, which is like, uh, you know, it's not composed, it's not directed, but it's very effective. There's a feeling in your body you get with that kind of yawning, stretching, right? So it's somatic. It's a somatic exploration. I'm going to the other side, hand where it feels good, toes flowing to that direction. And let's just do two of these. Take a deep breath in. And I soften down a bit, breathe out. And another one, breathe in. Good. Bring your feet up and um, I will turn. I'm comfortable. The feet are not um, so close together. And I've caught my knees with my elbows. Caught my knees with my elbows. And I'm going to hold on to my hand. Okay. So this position inspired by, you know, you see young guys hanging around sometimes. It looks like they don't know what they're supposed to be doing with their lives. We call them the, the hanging kids. Or in Holland, the, in the Netherlands, we call them the, the hang jongere. It's like all this hang jongere nasana, hang jongere asana. Right, so let's just navel to the spine. There's this hanging back here. Feel the hanging back. And feel how it stretches out the... the broadens around the thoracic, the middle of the back, and even the neck. The neck gets a lovely stretch if you really let the head hang down. Okay. Now when I pull forward, I personally like to release the hands when I pull forward, really using the elbows on the knees, again looking for that tilt of the hips and the heart flowing through to give me that opening. And then when I hang back, you might want to catch the hands just to give you a little bit more grip for the hanging back. Let's synchronize breath and movement. This is breathing in. This is breathing out. This is breathing in. Time breathing. <sighs> Lovely. Let's gently cross the legs. When we cross the legs in the yoga practice, and it really belongs to the yoga tradition, to you give yourself the support that you need. So if you struggle to sit comfortably, you need a blanket folded up under your bum. <coughs> You should do that. Okay, welcome. Let's open the hands, take a moment. We'll work a little bit more with the neck here, which is this balancing of earth and sky, and this bowing and then opening. Of course, always related to lunar practice is the moon, and many visualizations we work with. So I hope that you're doing this practice in the evening, since I've called it bedtime story. And uh, in that case, whether there's a moon or not on this evening, we can always visualize. So this opening of the heart here, with these hands open, this is a breathing in of the light of the moon, feeling that nourishment, that blessing, that tenderizing. And this is a bowing, is an offering of that blessing of the moon to the self, and to the earth. And as we flow on the breath, this, with eyes closed and soft lips, is breathing in. And this is breathing out. And again, breathing in. And again, breathe out. One. 
more time enjoy breathing and gently opening the eyes forward and as you look forward just enjoying this balance of energy lightness so I'm not completely collapsed I have that lightness I have that openness but here with these open hands meditating embodying feeling into that state of receptivity which is an internal mantra that is I'm open to receive I receive the blessing of this moment the blessing of this day the blessing of this teaching the blessing of this practice and the blessing of my own loving kindness of which I have infinite supply there's no limit to my loving kindness and so just as I can offer that to another I can offer it to myself I bless myself I receive my own blessing and as you say that, as you embody that, as you internally connect to that samkalpa, soften your head to your heart. Lovely, lovely. Take your right arm across for a little twist to the back. And remember, with twisting, you would never go into a twist if the back is uh, collapsed. You need first that spaciousness, right? So you can use the hands for that. And if you're sitting on a blanket, as I mentioned, that helps you. If you, if you have support under your hips, if you need that to help you sit straight. There's a bit of a twist here. No tension, no forcing. A little bit of assistance from the hand. And I will give to you the fluid practice for this twisting. So as I come forward a little bit with my chest, so I'm coming out of the twist, I'm coming forward a bit, I breathe in here and I sit taller. As I move into the twist, I breathe out. We repeat that. Let the head flow with you, breathe in, forward. Breathe out, move into the twist. Breathe in forward. Breathe out, move into the twist. Breathing in forward. You're welcome to continue at your own tempo, your own rhythm, but synchronize breath and movement. And the last time you come forward, move those hands, fingertips to the floor to support you in this opening of the heart. And transfer those fingertips forward. And when you transfer those fingertips forward now, be sure that you're still practicing moving forward from that tilting of the hips and that reaching out so you're not going forward to the round back, all the support you need to help you achieve that. We try to get as far as that we've got the fingertips on the floor. If that's already too much for you and it's not easy, then you should have your hands on blocks, okay? Or any support, whatever you've got at home, if they're not blocks. What I'm demonstrating you here is that I am using these fingers and I'm flowing from one hand to the other and I'm inviting a gentle overflow of the movement in the spine, the neck, the head. The movement is snake-like, it is snake-like, side to side and it's giving me more space as I breathe through the movement 
once I've got the movement, I always close my eyes. It belongs to this work, you know, that internalization, that pratyahara, that somatic absorption in your inner experience. If you don't need fingertips, then you can start to work with flat hands or elbows. Whatever is possible for you to just have a moment of flowing into this forward bend in a fluid way, massaging. Keep looking for space. If you have discomfort or pain in your lower back, that's the moment you want to look again for length. Until you're ready, use the hands to support you so you don't hurt your back. To press you up. And extend the legs forward. Get onto the hands for a moment. Opening up as we did earlier. And change legs. I hope you can remember which way your legs were crossed. <laughs> what I do remember very clearly is that we twisted that way. So we are certainly now going to twist this way. Set yourself up for that fingertips. I'm really using the fingertips at the back here. You can see that. And the hand on the leg, okay? So um, the breathing in is to help me sit up tall, great space. Breathing out, I'm not collapsing, but I'm deepening into that twist. And my head flows with the movement. This is breathing in. And this is breathing out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. Two more times, your own rhythm breathing. Breathe. Last time breathing. And breathing out. Gently as you moving forward. Welcome to use your fingertips to help you to create space, to tilt forward from the hips. That movement, fingertips to support you, blocks if you need. Generous overflow side to side. Look, my hip, even one hip comes off the floor. I allow it, you see? Even one hip comes off the floor a little bit and then I put it down and I generously flowing like a cobra back to the earth, into the forward bend softening into it. Be aware of your lower back, give yourself enough support and if you do have pain or compression in the lower back space, length will lift you out of that compression. And of course don't go deeper than what you can. It's got to feel okay. Facing back, shoulders roll back, heart opens, breathe in, and flow into softness, sternum, chest dropping, breathing out. I want to do it again on the breath. This is breathing in, and breathing out. Good. Facing forward. Once again, your cushion on the left side, as we did much earlier. Cushion on the left side, all right? Um, legs away from the cushion. And we're back to this very comfortable position. I'm gonna show you something, it's special, it's very beautiful. 
Um, the image that comes to my mind is that of a mermaid lying on the rocks, tanning, moon tanning, I would say, since this is lunar. The cushion is literally going to press under my ribs. Now, if you don't have a nice sturdy bolster, uh, you know, pile up whatever you've got there. Let me just show you. Legs away, hand on the cushion. We've been here. You know this position. Now watch what happens. How this cushion presses under the ribs and I overflow over it. And then the I actually get my head behind this arm and the top arm looks for the earth and tries to touch the earth, giving me an incredibly beautiful opening here through the side body. I'm just going to be in this position and I'm going to breathe. So see if you can get into this position with me. Maybe I'll join you to flow in again just to go through the details one more time. Cushion positioned so that it's aligned with the rib cage to press all the air out of that underneath lung. Walk away and then there's a moment you think, where am I supposed to put my head? Now let's put it behind the arm and then or on the arm if that's more comfortable for you. But try to go for the earth. And then the top arm reaches as far as it can to touch the earth. And then we just enjoy. Now the value in the pose you're going to experience through the breathing, deep breathing, and really feel the breath specifically in the top lung and in that movement of the rib cage. All right, let's take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more deep breath in. And deep breath out. Gently moving on to the hands. Help yourself up. Get your bolster gently to the front of your mat. So it'll be like this. I am going to face this way again in order to be able to show you. So I'm coming onto the hands and knees. I've got my hands on the bolster and I'm just gently flowing through the hips side to side. And then I'm going to get my elbows onto the bolster. And as I flow the hips side to side, I'm going to let that overflow of movement into the neck and the head. So just gently massaging the body into softness here. together, elbows on the bolster, left leg reaches away and I bend the knee, There's, I'm not stretching it, it's bent, it's soft, and I just want to feel the toe reaching for my head and my heart reaching forward a little bit, take a deep breath in, as I put the knees down, both knees on the floor, press the elbows into the bolster round the back. Get the chin to the chest and exhale deeply. And then when you're ready, reach the other leg away. You can extend it for a moment, but then bend the knee so it's soft. And let's get the toe reaching for the back of the head. Take a deep breath in. And again, knees down, round the back, chin to the chest, exhale completely, and as the knees open nice and wide, you might want to come on to the bolster for a moment of the hands and just flow for a moment so you can look forward and you can see me. I'm going to demonstrate to you from the side like this, you can see it very clearly. Moving into child pose when my knees open, nice, moving deeply into child pose. But the distance needs to be right so that the forearms are on the bolster. 
and then I can drop my heart and my head through, try to drop them through the arms, all right? See if you can find this and flow into this. Try to keep enough support close to the elbows so it's not just your wrists on the cushion, but the cushion close to the elbows. You do need the cushion far enough away that you can drop the head through. Nice deep breath in, deep breath out. And gently help yourself up to set yourself up with your bolster on the other side. Ready for that mermaid, yeah? So here we are, setting up. And like I said, the bolster is aligned so that it's going to be under these ribs. I think you guys, you've got the explanation. So when you're ready, lower into that oh, head, preferably behind the arm. And the top arm flowing over to try to touch the floor with the hand. And just breathe into it. Let's join together in the breath flow. If you're there already, I hope you are. I'm going to take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And again, deep breath in. Deep breath out. One more time, deep breath in. And deep breath. I use my hands to gently Help me up and facing forward, crossing the legs for a moment. Let's just take a moment in the cross-legged sitting position. Now, if you're okay on the, just on the earth like this, on the blanket, great. And if you needed more support, then something under the hips. We're returning with the hands resting on the knees to that tilting of the pelvis, offering the heart forward. Opening the throat, the face, drinking the moonlight. And then that flowing navel to the spine, overflowing into the self, bowing in. So this is in-breath. And out-breath. Close the eyes, soften the lips, in sitting up, swing the legs forward, extend them forward, take a moment sitting with the hands resting on the knees. So once again we're in that softness of receiving, of integrating, of experiencing, sort of your mind flowing internally through yourself. want to feel energized, that there is a flow of energy through the body, and that we are circulating that energy internally. Essentially, we're nourishing ourselves, balancing and harmonizing ourselves. Those hands resting on those ego knees, one 
more beautiful oh take a deep breath in deeper bowing of our heads to our hearts. And gently looking up. So doing the best with whatever cushion you've got, you're facing me, your, your legs are facing me, and getting ready to place your bolster behind you. I want you to line up the bolster um, so that it is going to be opening the heart, the chest. So essentially it's lined up with the underneath of the shoulder blades. And as my arms are behind the bolster and as my head flows to the earth, if it's too much for you, you need some support under your head. That could be a block or um, anything to give you a bit of support under the head. Let's just spend a bit of time here. Softening into this heart opening, essentially receiving the kiss of the moonlight, opening your heart, opening you, blessing you. Very important to flow with the breath as you're lying here. Just cultivate the practice of deep in-breath and even deeper letting go on the out-breath. And that letting go with each out-breath, feel a deeper dropping, letting go to the earth. No holding, no resisting, no pulling away from the earth. So just dropping in. Now when you're ready, bring your feet onto the floor and prepare to roll to the right side and you will return to the mermaid that we practiced earlier. You'll have the bolster pressing underneath the ribs and let that top arm reach over the head to touch the floor. Be rolling on that bolster into the lying on your side position, feeling that pressure under the ribs and in this Position, take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. When you're ready, roll to the back, feet on the floor. Make sure you're in the middle of the bolster so you've got enough space to roll to the other side. And again, we're in that mermaid position. Just lying on the rocks, moon bathing, moon bathing, deep breath in, deep breath out. And one more deep breath in and out. Enjoy. Ready, use the hands to support you to come up. Come up meditatively. Let the coming up be a part of your meditative experience and your acknowledging, experiencing the transition and how different it feels to be horizontal and how there is an inner shift when we return to vertical 
Just take a moment in this sitting to bow the head to the heart to receive. You're sitting on your mat, your cushion is behind you. Cross the legs and working to give yourself space. Moving into forward bend. Support yourself as much as you need. Just the feeling of bowing to the earth. And you know, you don't have to be very deep. You could be here. But just feel that quality of surrendering, of bowing. Going to that which is the maximum for your own body. Serves you, doesn't injure you. Gently, once you've done that forward bend, changing the feet, coming up to change the feet, rooting down to create space. Hands to the heart. Take a moment to bow the head to the heart. And again, softening forward. A real feeling of bowing, surrendering, emptying yourself. Once you reach the maximum of your forward bend, just stay there, take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. And gently pressing up. Lovely. Take a moment to sit. Let me demonstrate while you sit gently, while you watch. Let me demonstrate. To start, it's the same. I go down again with the bolster behind me, so I flow over it. But once I get down there, press my feet into the floor to help me to get light, to shift the bolster. So now it's under my hips. It's not under my back anymore, okay? And when it's under my hips, I'm gonna just lift my feet, cross my ankles, and gently let them soften. See, my knees are soft. Crossing the ankles, I'm just letting the knees fall towards me. I'm just relaxing into this position. All right, I invite you to try it. I invite you to try it. So remember, you were sitting with the bolster behind you. You float over it. You place the feet on the floor to help you shift the bolster under the hips and the sacrum so it's not under the lower back. Raising the legs, soft knees, just crossing the ankles, soft knees, just let the knees flow towards you and just try to relax into this experience. Flowing with the breath. Yeah, make sure that the breath flows easily. Enjoy the cleansing, the rebalancing of conscious, harmonized breathing. Catch the right knee. My right leg is bent. My ankle of my right leg is almost on my bum here. Just catch the right leg, bent knee. And then I extend the left leg away from me. All right, so I feel a beautiful stretch through the psoas here. I'm just holding the bent leg. I've interlaced my fingers. I'm holding the bent leg. And the other one is reaching away. And I'm just softening into this. If the leg doesn't reach the floor, the extended one that's reaching forward doesn't reach the floor, that doesn't matter. Just be in this pose and just soften into it.
Work with the breath till you're ready to change legs. And you know, first draw that knee towards the chest before dropping, reaching the other leg forward. Try with each exhale to just soften into it a little deeper. So when you're ready, extend both legs and then reach the arms above you and arms along the earth behind your head and legs reaching away. And let's just catch one wrist and start pulling on that wrist, extending the side body at the same time feeling that you're reaching through the legs and let's just feel that lengthening and extending. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Now, set up to catch the other arm and start pulling, extending, also reaching through the legs. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Arms flowing more to the side. You can let the legs open a little. And as we lie here, you know, flowing over the bolster here, which is underneath the sacrum, underneath the pelvis, arms opening to the side. So want to enjoy a little bit of turning head side to side, really closing the eyes and just releasing the neck. When you're ready to bring the feet to the floor, let's just move the bolster further away, get the hips off the floor, push the bolster down so that it's gonna be under the knees. You can use your, your feet to help you to roll the bolster a little. Okay, so I've got the bolster under the knees and I'm just gently wiggling my ankles, doing what you need to prepare to just relax now and flow into a closing relaxation. If you feel that you need to, you know, recollect your energy or create a, a boundary, a, a safe zone, maybe you want to bring your hands onto your body or maybe you want to wrap your arms over you so that your elbows are on your chest and your arms are just dangling over you. This is all possible and you might not feel like having your head facing the sky. You might feel more you want to turn your, your face to the side. You know, you, you, you could spend some time there and then you could turn the face to the other side. Just want you to feel free to really tune into what's going to make you feel good, protected, safe, nourished, embraced at home. All right, so relax into it and then just join me for a breath of ease, a breath of release, a breath of surrender. Taking a nice deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Beautiful people, I'm inviting you to stay here for as long as you like, to enjoy your closing of your bedtime story journey with me this evening. I hope that you feel wonderful, and I wish you a wonderful closing of your day. This evening, a wonderful sleep. 
that you will awaken tomorrow feeling beautifully refreshed, recharged, rejuvenated. Thank you so much for joining as you relax, as you release, as you let go and let flow, as you dissolve into the inner light, as you smile into your heart, as you feel supported by the earth, blessed by the moon and the stars, embraced, connected, at home. Om. Um.